Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Butch Gamboa. It's that time of the year again where we bring you our traditional year-end special. This week on Autofocus, as we do each year, we'll take you to a trip down memory lane as we look back at the different significant events that happened in the country's automobile industry in 2018. The past year was filled with different car launches wherein brands have proudly showcased their latest products and innovations. 2018 wouldn't also be complete without the special happenings like test drive events held by car companies and manufacturers wherein they showcase the quality and performance of the latest models hands-on for the media. Now that we are into New Year, join us in looking back at these happenings in the industry, starting from January all the way down to December 2018. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show as we bring you the 2018 highlights and happenings in the auto industry here in our Autofocus Year-End Special. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it. The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too. So, why are you back? I didn't want to miss you. You're back with us here in Autofocus. Let's start our year-end special with a major car launch from Nissan Philippines. Headlining the year of major industry events is Nissan Philippines with their introduction of the Nismo brand, starting with GTR Nismo. The launch coincided with their media Thanksgiving party. Following the launch of the Honda CRV, seven-seater diesel engine in the Philippines, Honda Cars Philippines took a group of the motor media all the way to Bagak, Bataan for a test drive activity highlighting the power and reliability of the new model. Auto Hub Group kicked off the month of February with its media Thanksgiving party held at Mini BGC with the theme Paperia Party ni WQT. Guests enjoyed a night of festivities, good company, and giveaways and raffles from the company. Autohub Group also gave away a U.M. motorcycle and a Vespa bike to the lucky winners. SMC Asia Car Distributors Corporation unveiled the all-new BMW X3 in a launching ceremony held at the Bonifacio High Street Central Amphitheater. Under BMW's theme, sheer driving pleasure, the all-new BMW X3 boasts innovations and enhancements while still reflecting a familiar BMW X family design. Puro Motor Philippines celebrated a successful 2017 by holding a media Thanksgiving party. 
What made the celebration more exciting was the introduction of the boldest model in the Hilux lineup, the Hilux Conquest. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation opened its new stamping shop in Santa Rosa, Laguna. It has the capacity to produce 35,000 units in two shifts per year, enabling the company to scale up local production of the Mitsubishi Mirage Hatchback and Mirage G4 Sedan, or a Traj as it is known in other markets. AutoNation Group Inc. held their experiential event when they showcased the Mercedes-Benz OF917 MIDI bus by conducting a ride with the motoring media to Sedo Hotel Nuvali in Laguna. The brand also gave the members of the media a sneak peek of their commercial van, the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. Honda Cars Philippines held the Civic Type R Track Day event at the Clark International Speedway. The event showcased the capabilities of the Type R by having full-track exercises which owners of the said model and members of the motoring media enjoyed. The Basis Conversion and Development Authority, in partnership with Clark Development Corporation Tourism Promotions Division, held a gathering event of classic Porsche cars at the CDC Parade Grounds in Clark, Pampanga. The event was participated in by over 50 Porsche car owners and enthusiasts. Isuzu Philippines Corporation launched two new limited edition variants of the Isuzu D-Max and Isuzu Mu X models. Isuzu highlighted the enhancements done in the exteriors and features of the 2018 edition of the models. Isuzu Philippines ended the month of February with the inauguration of the relocated Isuzu Tagagarao in Barangay Santa Teresa, Igig, Cagayan. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation welcomed the month of March with the public expo and test drive event coinciding with the official launch of the Mitsubishi Expander. Dubbed as the Expander Expo, the three-day event was held at the World Trade Center in Pasay City. Gaz Group made a huge announcement that they're coming to the Philippines through Eastern Petroleum and will be known in the country as Gazelle Motors Corporation. Gaz Group has supplied CVs as well as buses of Gazelle Next family, namely Gazelle Next Mini Buses and Gazelle Next City Line. The Society of Philippine Motoring Journalists or SPMJ held the second Driven to Serve Awards. The awarding ceremony was attended by top executives of local car companies and manufacturers and members of the motoring media. It aimed to recognize the most outstanding corporate social responsibility projects of the local automotive industry. Thank you very much for all the participants who came and uh, who made time to obtain the second Driven to Serve Awards. This uh, year's awardees and uh, participants have uh, really been very inspiring to all of us. They showed us that there are so many people out there who are doing good for their communities and who are uh, working seriously on helping their communities to have better livelihood, better environment, and uh, to give them some education and training so that they can uh, get better jobs. The seventh staging of the STV Golf Cup Invitational was held at the Riviera Golf and Country Club in Cavite. The event was attended by top executives of the local auto industry, motoring journalists as well as friends and supporters of Sunshine Television. First of all, I would like to congratulate uh, Mr. Butch Gamboa and the whole family of uh, STV for the seventh STV Golf Cup Invitational. As always, it's something that we look forward to in the automotive industry. This is a good opportunity for all of us to get together as one industry and uh, in, in an atmosphere that is very friendly, that is about camaraderie and just enjoying the day, enjoying the golf course, enjoying the beautiful weather that we have. And uh, again, another successful event. Congratulations, Mr. Butch Gamboa, and I hope that you will continue to have events like this that will unite the automotive industry 
in, in a very enjoyable and uh, fun atmosphere. I always look forward to this uh, STV uh, golf with uh, our friends from uh, the industry because, uh, again, this is a uh, one of the rare occasions that we get along and we play with them, so it's it's really fun for, for, for me. It's different and the same. It's different in a way that there's more people, uh, there's more people attending, there are a lot of new faces. That also means that the automotive industry is uh, growing. It's the same. Uh, one thing that's consistent is the fun that we all had during the tournament. Yes, it was a bit competitive, but we did not get the competitive spirit get in the way of having fun. I think the course was really good. No? It was well prepared and I think there's a lot of improvement here at the Riviera Golf and Country Club. So overall, uh, it was well organized. Everything went on smoothly. And most important, I think, is we had time with our friends from the automotive industry. So it was uh, like sort of a reunion and a get together with friends and especially of course with Butch Gamboa. Well it's always nice, uh, I've been looking forward to play again in this uh, invitational golf of Mr. Butch Gamboa because as I said I look forward to meeting old friends from in the industry, uh, that's one and foremost. And of course uh, once a year I get to exercise my <laughs> golfing skill but um, I don't mind the score, I think everybody's a winner in this tournament, just being here alone. And of course, we look forward to the prizes in the raffle. <laughs>Aston Martin Manila officially unveiled the sporty 4.0 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine DB11 in the Philippines. The new variant complements the DB11's existing 5.2 liter twin turbocharged V12 engine, according to the company. Coventry Motors Corporation held its media drive featuring the Jaguar and Land Rover vehicles, including the Jaguar F Pace and the Range Rover Velar. The group drove all the way to the Gaitai to experience firsthand the features and capabilities of the featured vehicles. JAC Motors, in partnership with Trisenberg Auto Corporation, unveiled the complete lineup of JAC vehicles in a launching ceremony held at the JAC Motors showroom in Alabang, Muntinlupa. During the event, guests were treated to an exclusive preview of the newest JAC passenger vehicles, the SUVs S1, S2, S3, S7, J4 Sedan, and M Series M3 and M4. The Suzu Philippines Corporation launched the all new RZ4E Blue Power engine, as presented by Isuzu during the launch. The Isuzu RZ4E engine has a displacement of 1,898 liters that is capable of producing 150 PS of power and a maximum torque of 950 Nm and is Euro 4 compliant. The first three months of 2018 was filled with major car launches, test drives to different parts of the country, openings of new dealerships and other special events. The second SPMJ Awards was also held in March, which served as a kickoff to more CSR projects from the companies. Shortly after that, the STV Invitational Golf Cup followed, adding more fun and excitement within the industry during the summer season. We have more car launches and special events in 2018 as we come back from this short break. Stay with us.
comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado Restaurant, only for the foodies. Welcome back, and this is your Autofocus year-end special. Let's pick where we left off with these car launches and special events, starting in April with the Suzu Philippines. Suzu Philippines Corporation was on a roll in April as it expanded its dealer network in the Visayas region with the groundbreaking of Isuzu Rojas in Capiz. The 2018 Manila International Auto Show took place at the World Trade Center in Pasay City. With the theme Work and Play, the four-day event showcased the biggest launches in the local auto industry. The lineup of exhibitors included BMW, Ford, Hyundai, Mercedes-Benz, Mitsubishi, Subaru, and Suzuki. Isuzu Philippines Corporation staged its Truck Fest event at the SMX Convention Center in Pasay City. The three-day event displayed the latest lineup of Isuzu trucks under the light to heavy-duty segments. Porsche Philippines launched the all-new Porsche Cayenne. During the launching, Porsche Philippines presented the all-new Cayenne with powerful turbo engines that are matched with an 8-speed Tiptronic S gearbox. Moreover, according to the company, the all-new Cayenne comes equipped with the Porsche Advanced Cockpit Display and Control Concept with Total Connectivity. The 2018 Autofocus Multibrand Summer Test Drive Festival, presented by Phoenix Fuels with Pulse Technology, happened at the SML of Asia Concert Grounds. During the three-day event, visitors were able to see the latest lineup from Ford, Honda, Jeep, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Peugeot, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota. First of all, we would like to thank uh, the, the organizer, the STB, 
for uh, this uh, test drive festival because it's an opportunity for our Honda brand to give opportunity for our motoring public to experience you know, the advantages of a Honda product. Okay. Really we have uh, the CRB, the CT, the Civic, HRB, BRB, name it all, it's all there in uh, Honda Boot. Okay. It's always a pleasure for us to join the uh, Autofocus multi-brand test drive festival. No? I think it, every year we're here and we feel that it's a great opportunity for customers, car buyers, those who are considering to buy vehicles to go to one place and test drive the vehicles in their consideration so that their uh, decision is informed. We have uh, a Jeep booth where you'll have the Jeep Wrangler, of course, our best-selling model, and we also have the Ram pickup. We are very happy to be here in the uh, STV um, Summer Test Drive event. We'd like to congratulate uh, the whole team of Mr. Butch Gamboa, the whole STV team, for inviting us again. We are very happy to be participating once again here and, and, and we think that these kinds of events are very critical to the purchase decision of our customers. Being informed, having to compare all the vehicles around, within the market, so it's, it's quite important for the purchase decision of all our customers. In the Nissan booth will be featuring, of course, our Nissan Juke, uh, the new Nissan Patrol, and of course the vehicles under our Nissan Intelligent Mobility which are the new Nissan Navara with a RAM view monitor and the new Nissan X-Trail. We're very excited to be part of the Test Drive Festival once again. Uh, it has always been our one of our priorities to be here. We feel a good venue for us to showcase our product because yes, we are alongside many other brands and it's a trusted activity that has been going on for so many years and we would like to, at this point, take the opportunity to um, feature our newer products. So it's a great time for us. There are a couple of new products in our, in our lineup. It's a trusted uh, activity, so we're very happy to be here. Okay, well, there are three products that they can uh, test drive here. First of all, it's the uh, 2014 Car of the Year, the 308, the hatchback variant is here. Also, the current Car of the Year, the 3008 SUV, is available for test drive, both in petrol and diesel. And our newest product, a Peugeot Traveler, the MPV, the seven-seater MPV, is also available for test drive. So three very exciting cars from Peugeot are available for test drive over this entire weekend. First of all, what makes the STV Autofocus uh, Test Drive Festival so great is that the schedule is really good. First is the summer, next is the year end, which are both key moments in the year wherein people are really out to buy the cars. Second is the idea of the Test Drive Festival itself. People getting to try the cars because as we all know, most of the customers, they're intimidated to go to the showrooms, they're afraid to commit. So this is the best avenue for the customers to really try out the cars, see for themselves how the cars perform. And I think that this event really helps in closing the deals when it comes to customers buying the vehicles. What we have right now are, is a very exciting lineup. We have new WRX, our turbocharged uh, 2.0 sedan. We have our Subaru XV now equipped with the latest technology, the iSight driver assist technology. And lastly, the Subaru Forester, which is the best-selling Subaru vehicle. Actually, uh, we don't want to miss the opportunity, so we, we join again here in uh, Autofocus Test Drive. Actually, we want to showcase our uh, great value uh, Suzuki vehicles. Test drives are, uh, we have our uh, best-seller uh, Ertiga, we have the fuel-efficient uh, CS, and we have uh, two Vitaras, our uh, crowd favorite. And we have our all new design right now, the, what we previewed in a recently concluded uh, MIAS. First of all, I'd like to congratulate uh, Sunshine TV for staging another very successful um, test drive festival. Um, this is something we look forward to every year. We support this every year because um, it's a very good opportunity to bring our cars closer to our customers. Um, having a test drive experience is something that I know that our customers would really like to have in order to make a major decision in their purchase of a car. Well, we have the Fortuner, we have an Innova, Yaris, Vios, Wigo. I would like to uh, congratulate Butch no, for again organizing this summer test drive. It's really helpful for the industry because this raises awareness 
uh, uh, customers, especially at this time, we need support from the customers. We supported the multi-brand uh, test drive festival because this is one of the more hugely successful event, you know, it's about test driving. Also, we wanted to introduce our brand, our Phoenix Fuels with Pulse Technology, to the different car manufacturers. So this is sort of like a coming out. The focus really of Phoenix is improving our products, our services, because really our vision is to become a preferred or credible alternative to all the major players in the market. And with regards to the different um, activities we're doing, it's really raising awareness, um, introducing the Phoenix Pulse technology to the public. Ford Philippines officially unveiled the new Mustang convertible and the all-new Expedition at the 15th Manila International Auto Show, or MIAS. It is powered by a 5.0-liter V8 engine that is accompanied by an all-new port fuel and direct injection fuel delivery system, producing 460 horsepower with 420 pounds per feet of torque. Auto Nation Group Inc. introduced the heavy-duty Mercedes-Benz Actros truck with the second generation of Active Brake Assist. In line with the launching, Auto Nation Group organized a live demonstration at the Freeport Zone of Clark Air Base in Pampanga to showcase how the safety technology activates in various pre-collision situations on the road. Prestone Philippines unveiled the Prestone Motor Oil. Along with the launch of its latest product, the company also introduced its latest brand ambassador, Paulo Abrera. SMC Asia Car Distributors Corp. hosted the BMW Joyfest 2018 at the BMW Pavilion at Bonifacio Global City, Taguig. The BMW Joyfest 2018 allowed customers and aspiring owners to immerse themselves in a three-day event that is jam-packed with excitement. Phoenix Petroleum, in partnership with RCBC, introduced the Phoenix RCBC Bancard MasterCard. It bears the Phoenix Pulse Technologies Wave trademark and its design is a lifestyle credit card that offers perks and privileges, starting with a free 500 peso Phoenix Fuel welcome gift. Toyota Motors Philippines launched their entry to the MPV segment, the new Toyota Rush. Prestone introduced the nine recipients of the Anak ng Mechanico Scholarship Program. The nine Anak ng Mechanico Scholars were selected through their submitted essays with the theme, I am a proud Anak ng Mechanico. The 2018 Phoenix Fuels Pulse Technology Powered STV ARCC was staged with its flag off at Clark Global City and continued on all the way to Harbor Point Mall in Subic and back to Clark. This year's ARCC was presented by Phoenix Fuels with Pulse Technology, which also served as the official fuel of the participating vehicles with a total of 108. Participating car companies and manufacturers were Chevrolet, Ford, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Lexus, Mazda, Mini, Sanyo, and Volkswagen. Well, Phoenix supported the STVARCC because this event is really about testing performance of car brands. So it is also the best way for us to test our fuel. A few months ago, Phoenix launched its Level Up Fuel, which is the Phoenix Pulse technology, with the promise of enhanced power and acceleration. This fuel was actually a collaboration between world-class experts and our local technical team so to give our customers um, added value. This competition because it promotes precision driving, safe driving, and overall promoting professionalism and driving. And uh, that's an aspiration of us because we at NLEX Corporation, we offer our motorists, we offer the public world-class expressways, uh, the best in expressway experience and the best you can find comparable also to the best in the world. Uh, but that also requires among our motorists, among our drivers, that they also exercise best practices in driving. Be professional, 
exercise, safe driving practices. In, in other words, also improve our driving habits. So events like this are special to us because its objectives are aligned to the objectives of NLEX Corporation. Clark Global City, the new center, is uh, one of the biggest CBDs north of Metro Manila. Uh, we're here right now at uh, West Aero Park. Uh, we support these types of uh, activity because we see this place growing to be one of the biggest centers uh, in the next few years. And siempre, like uh, what we see in uh, Eastwood or BGC previously, we'd like uh, people to come here to see the place. This place is for everybody. We have uh, culture, we have entertainment, we'll have leisure, we'll have offices. And siempre, uh, we want to support activities like this because a lot of people are interested in cars. And of course, we are sister companies with Phoenix uh, who supply uh, fuel and oil. I'm still uh, expanding and expanding the, the race in distance so that you know we can get used to doing bigger and longer rallies. No? So that's why we did it this way. But this time we had lots of new elements in, in the rally. We had this new timing thing that allowed us to have special checkpoints where no one knew where they were. They didn't need to stop, they didn't need to check in, nothing. It just recorded you as you passed wherever the random place that they chose to put it. And then Butch wanted to put back the, uh, the special stage. And I thought that was also a really good thing, addition to it. No? Kudos to the Powder Puff Girls because I think they I think they aced it. Uh, I think no one, I don't know, I have to just look at the results yet, but as far as I can remember, they aced it. Yeah. Good, good, good for them. <laughs> the all-girl team, they're awesome. Toyota Motor Philippines once again staged the Toyota Road Trek, an annual driving event for the motor media en route to different destinations in the country. This 2018, the group went to a three-day trip to the island of Balisin in Kazan province wherein the capabilities of the newly launched Toyota Rush were showcased in different activities. The 2018 Transport Show happened at the SMX Convention Center at the Mall Asia. This year's the 27th staging of the Transport Show which is also considered as one of the pioneers in the motor show exhibit in the country. Just like every year, car restoration shops, vintage car owners proudly showcase their show cars to the delight of car enthusiasts. The best show car winner will be featured in next year's Transport Show poster. The awarding ceremony for the 2018 Phoenix STV ARCC winners was held at the Valle Verde Country Club Pasig City. Winners for the Alpha Leg, Beta Leg, Hidden Checkpoints, and Individual Team winners received their respective awards. The Mini Rally Team bagged the Corporate Team Championship. It's a prestigious event and we really uh, thank the STV for inviting us. And it was a pleasure, both work and personal, to be tying up with the STV group, especially with the car enthusiasts, the legends of the motorsport. It was an opportune time to promote our new fuel additives, Phoenix Petroleum, with Pulse technology. So it was a good timing for us to promote the brand. It's available across all fuels, diesel, gasoline, whether it's 91, 95, 98. So it was a good time to test the product. And I think it was a success because everyone went safe and there were winners and very competitive at that. So I think it's a success for everyone. Audi Philippines launched the second-generation Audi RS5 Coupe. It's the first Audi Sport model to feature the current RS design. The designers drew inspiration for the car from the distinctive motorsport details of the Audi 90 Quattro IMSA GTO. Suzuki Philippines expanded its dealership networks in Southern Luzon with the opening of Suzuki Batangas. Honda Cars Philippines inaugurated the newest addition to its growing network, the Honda Cars Baliwag. Its spacious showroom exhibits up to 12 vehicles, letting the customer see and experience the entire lineup of Honda Cars. The showroom also boasts of a customer lounge, coffee bar, and a zen garden. The 
Jaguar's The Art of Performance Tour and Land Rover's Above and Beyond Tour 2-in-1 event was held at the Mega Tent along C5 Quezon City. The three-day experiential event showcased the British brand's power and capabilities. Honda Safety Driving Center, the first motorcycle riding school in the country that provides comprehensive training for two-wheel and four-wheel vehicles and even truck certification, celebrated its 10th anniversary and Thanksgiving Day along with the Honda Group of Companies, the Honda Philippines Inc., Honda Cars Philippines and Honda Manufacturing Parts Corporation. Nissan Philippines launched the Nissan Terra, Nissan's first ever sports utility vehicle offering in the country, in a three day test drive event held at the Clark Global City in Pampanga. To celebrate its arrival, Nissan took members of the motoring media to Delta 5 in Mount Pinatubo through different test driving courses. BYD Philippines launched the BYD Tang plug in hybrid Super Sport. It is an 80km electric vehicle with a 2.0 turbo engine. It can be plugged in a regular 220 volt outlet. Porsche Philippines celebrated its 70th anniversary by taking everyone on a sporty driving experience at the Porsche Center Philippines showroom with the Porsche Festival. The highlight of the event was the new McCann Sport, a compact SUV that truly embodies the full heritage of Porsche. Suzuki Philippines took members of the motoring media to Batangas Racing Circuit aboard the all-new Suzuki Desire for a test drive experience. The group took on a 3.7km racing circuit drive to experience firsthand the latest technology applied on their latest market offering, the Auto Gear Shift, which combines the convenience of automatic transmission and the fuel efficiency of a manual, a best-of-both-world scenario. Auto Nation Group Inc. announced the return of the Jeep Wrangler Limited Sport Premium Sunrider Soft Top Edition for a limited time only. The Jeep Wrangler boasts a powerful and efficient 3.6-liter Pentastar V6 engine. This 284-horsepower engine is ready to provide with power and will deliver up to 347 Nm of torque. This vehicle is also mated with 5-speed automatic transmission. Isuzu Philippines Corporation turned over 15 units of Isuzu QK RPUVs to the Senate Employees Transport Service Cooperative, which is the official transport cooperative of the Senate of the Philippines. All British Cars, the exclusive and authorized dealer of Jaguar and Land Rover in the Philippines, inaugurated its first landmark showroom and service facility located in Green Hills. Suzuki Philippines closed the first half of the year with the back-to-back -back launch of the much-anticipated all-new Desire and Swift. Motor Image Filipinas Inc. conducted the first leg of their test drive event, dubbed the Subaru Ultimate Desk Drive, at the Bonifacio Global City. The event showcased Subaru vehicles highlighting their engineering and functionality, brought about the combination of symmetrical all-wheel drive, boxer engine, Subaru Global Platform, and the new EyeSight Driver Assist technology. Evidently, the months of April, May, and June 
were a perfect mix of car launches and special events, such as celebrations of some companies' important milestones. We're glad to have been able to witness and celebrate with them. We're not stopping here as we have more highlights and happenings to show you when we come back with this year-end special presentation of Autofocus. I'll be right back. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam, my passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too. So, why are you back? I didn't want to miss you. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Thank you for teaching me to do more, Ma. Happy birthday, Anna. Welcome back to your weekly electronic TV and online magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. This is Autofocus. You're still watching our year-end special highlighting the significant events in the local auto industry in 2018. Let's look back on the month of July, starting with Honda. Honda Cars Philippines hosted the BRV Owners Club's first grand eyeball at the Honda Kaloogan dealership. The event gathered around BRV owners to a meet and greet event that saw Honda executives and club officers deliver special messages to the active members of the club. Burjaya Motors Philippines held Mazda Press Night at the Mazda dealership in Chino Roses in Makati City. The event was attended by members of the motoring media as they discussed new variants of their latest products, such as the CX-9, Mazda 2, and MX-5. It also served as a celebration of Mazda Philippines' participation at the 12-hour Kalayan Cup Endurance Race and the Miata Cup. Isuzu Philippines Corporation held the Isuzu Truck Fest at SM City, Cebu. In a true Truck Fest fashion, the event showcased Isuzu's light, medium, and heavy-duty trucks, as well as its light commercial vehicle, the D-Max Flexi-Cube, as well as the QKR modernized Jeepney prototype with body designed and built by local partners Almazora and Santa Rosa. Phoenix Petroleum's Pinoy Superhero took home the award of excellence under the Community Relations category at the 2018 Philippine Cola Awards. According to Phoenix, the campaign recognizes outstanding Filipino drivers who exemplify discipline on the road, make a big difference in the community, and take steps to protect the environment. The Electric Vehicles Association of the Philippines held the 6th Philippine Electric Vehicle Summit with the theme Stepping Up Partnerships to Electrify Public and Private Transport. 
The event was held at the SMX Convention Center in the Mall of Asia Complex in Pasay City. As part of the summit, Nissan introduced the compact five-door hatchback electric car, the Nissan LEAF, first introduced in the global market in 2010. Nissan finally brought it to the Philippine market. Suzuki Philippines opened its new 3S dealership in Calamba, Laguna. Suzuki Auto Calamba, which has been serving as a sales dealership catering to Filipino motorists in the Laguna area since October 2016, expanded its thrust to serve as sales, spare parts, and service dealership of the Suzuki network. SeaTech introduced complete professional charging series. The lineup is composed of Pro 60 and Pro Battery Tester, which are the brands responsible to increasing the amount of powerful battery support in cars. Ford Philippines held the 11th Driving Skills for Life program, which educates drivers on smart, safe, and fuel-efficient driving. This year's Driving Skills for Life program included new training modules on vehicle handling, driving in special conditions, anti-distracted driving, and fuel-efficient driving. Hino Motors Philippines handed over initial Class 2 four-wheeler AC modern jeepney units to the Pateros Fort Bonifacio Transport Service and multi-purpose cooperative and Tagig Service Cooperative. This was part of Hino's support for the government's PUV modernization program. Isuzu Philippines Corporation took members of the motoring media to a ride and drive event aboard the 2018 Isuzu D-Max pickup and Isuzu Mu X dubbed Isuzu Driveway Getaway 2018. The group went all the way to the province of La Union. Toyota Motor Philippines held their roll-off ceremony of the all-new 2018 Toyota Vios at the Toyota Activity Center Gymnasium in Santa Rosa, Laguna. The ceremony was celebrated with Toyota executives, distinguished guests, and hundreds of Toyota Philippines employees. Following the roll-off of the 2018 Vios, Toyota Motors Philippines launched the all-new 2019 Vios. The latest Vios bears a new design while maintaining the power core of 1.3 and 1.5 engines that were carried by the previous generation model. Echo Jeep Inc. formally signed a contract with Mahindra Philippines to supply 1,000 units of Mahindra modern jeepneys worth 2 billion pesos. The first 100 such units were turned over following the signing ceremonies between the two. <music> Nissan Philippines opened the new Nissan Taitai Tai showroom in partnership with MGM Motors Inc. Virgaya Auto Philippines held the Mazda Zoom Fest at the High Street in Bonifacio Global City, Taguig. The brand displayed the latest Sky Active model offerings during the three-day event. Toyota Motor Philippines celebrated its 30th anniversary with the theme Always Better Cars, Always Better Lives at the Grand Ballroom of the Grand Hyatt Manila in Taguig City. One of the highlights of the event was the donation of 30 locally produced units of the Vios and Innova to the Philippine government to represent the 30 years of TMP's meaningful existence in the country. Sangyong PH held a press conference with members of the motoring media to introduce their 2018 lineup. The new products include the Tivoli Premium Sport and the updated Tivoli XLV. Mini Asia and British United Automobiles launched the new Mini 3-door, the new Mini 5-door, and the new Mini Cabrio. Toyota Motor Philippines inaugurated Toyota Alabang. The service center serves as Toyota's largest service center in Asia. 
It comes in two floor areas, which is enough to serve as much as 150 customers per day, and its facade features an all-glass front panel. Toyota Motor Philippines took members of the motoring media to a drive up north to test drive the all-new Vios, dubbed Vios Ride and Drive 2018. Isuzu Philippines brought the 4x4 Extreme Experience to SM City Cebu. Isuzu Philippines, together with Isuzu Cebu, allowed Cebuanos to see and experience with a 3.0-liter, 177 PS and 380 Nm Blue Power D-Max can do on an action ramp built to showcase the vehicle's power and prowess. Lexus Manila Inc. unveiled the all-new ES350 in an event held at their showroom in Bonifacio Global City in Taguig. Volkswagen Philippines held the Ride and Drive Experience 2018, a Filipiniana-themed lifestyle tour of Pampanga, Nueva Ecija, and Bulacan, showcasing their all-new Santana, La Vida, and Tiguan. Honda Cars Philippines Inc. introduced the new 2018 HRV with updated design, advanced technology features. For 2018, the new HRV will now have a new 1.8 RS Navi variant. Ford Philippines launched the new Eco Sport in an unveiling event held at the SMX in SM Oren, Bonifacio Global City. The new Eco Sport features enhancements in exterior and interior design new upgraded smart and safety features, and driver assist technology, and improvements in driving performance and fuel efficiency. Hyundai Asia Resources Inc. held a regional test drive event showcasing the all-new Hyundai Santa Fe. Hyundai took select members of the motoring media on a driving experience in Central Luzon, specifically in Subic and Bataan, aboard the all-new Santa Fe. Suzuki Philippines inaugurated the Suzuki Auto Davao. With the opening of this new dealership, the brand now holds a total dealership network of 71, which composes of 44 3S dealerships and 27 satellite outlets. Honda Cars Philippines Inc. conducted its media test drive event featuring the new 2018 Honda HRV. The event highlighted the new HRV's updated styling and its new RS variant to select members of the motoring media for a two day getaway drive from Metro Manila to the scenic provinces of Cavite and Batangas. Isuzu Philippines Corporation brought its interactive 4x4 public exhibition at the Festive Walk Mall at the Iloilo Business Park in Mandoriao, Iloilo City. The highlight of the weekend remained to be the 4x4 Extreme Experience Action Ramp, wherein brave volunteers and passengers experienced riding a 4x4 3.0-liter Isuzu D-Max up and down a two-story high steep narrow metal ramp. Ford Philippines launched the first ever Ranger Raptor in the Philippines. Customers were able to ride and experience a Ranger Raptor at the Ford Island Conquest Year 2 in Area South in Taguig City. Motor Image Pilipinas held the 2018 Subaru Palm Challenge, Philippine Face-Off Challenge at 9th Avenue, Bonifacio High Street in Taguig. Out of almost a hundred aspirants, 10 strong competitors have emerged victorious. These 10 winners were to represent the Philippines in the regional finals in Singapore in October. As you've seen, Ford Philippines launched the 11th Driving Skills for Life program, and Toyota Motor Philippines celebrated their 30th anniversary in August. Meanwhile, Hyundai Asia Resources jump-started the bear months with its all-new Hyundai Santa Fe driving experience. We continue our year-end special presentation of Autofocus when we come back after this short break. Stay with us. Zone. 
and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it. The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. Welcome back on this week's edition of Autofocus with our year-end special. We haven't run out of significant events that happened in 2018 to show you. We have more of it in our last stretch of our year-end special. Watch this. Ford Philippines held a test drive event dubbed the EcoSport Street Smart Media Drive. Ford Philippines invited select members of the motoring media aboard their new and refreshed EcoSport, now with the EcoBoost technology. Isuzu Philippines held the grand opening of their newest dealership in Pagbilao, Quezon. Sunshine Television held a briefing event for the participating car brands and manufacturers for the 2018 Autofocus Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival presented by Phoenix Fuels with Pulse Technology. The pre-event briefing was attended by representatives from the participating automotive companies. Covenant Car Company Inc. announced that it has been appointed as the official distributor of the MG brand in the Philippines. The company expressed their excitement in bringing quality MG products to the Filipino market. Burma's Auto Philippines invited several Mazda clubs and members and the motoring media to a sneak peek party at the island in Bonifacio Global City, introducing the new Mazda 6, the MX-5, and the 7-seater crossover, the CX-9. The 2018-2019 Autofocus People's Choice Awards was held at the Grand Ballroom of the Valle Verde Country Club. The Toyota Wego, which currently dominates the mini sedan market, was proclaimed the Automobile of the Year standard category, while the Lexus NX300 ran off with the title in the premium luxury classification. Again, for the 14th time uh, for the People's Choice and the 11th time for the Media's Choice Awards, uh, congratulations, uh, Butch, good show. Thank you for having us. It's been a pleasure working both the awards programs again, and uh, here's looking forward to next year. Isuzu Philippines opened Isuzu Butuan, the brand's new home in the Caraga region. In addition, Isuzu said the Isuzu Advantage, which is composed of a nationwide dealer network, parts availability, expert service technicians, roadside assistance, and technical training are all part of the after-sales support that each Isuzu dealer provides for every purchase of an Isuzu unit. Mm -hmm. 
Mini Philippines held the 2018 Mini Festival at the Manopasha Global City Amphitheater. The event featured the rich history of the brand through its lineup of vehicles and lifestyle products, including the three-door and five-door, the convertible, the countryman, the clubman, and the John Cooper works. Campy once again gathered its members, the country's leading manufacturers and distributors, to showcase their latest models and innovations at the Philippine International Motor Show, or the PIMS. Now in its seventh year, 17 car brands displayed their latest offerings during the five-day show. Burma's Auto Philippines, Inc. started with the construction of its newest training facility in Laguna. The new Mazda Philippines Warehouse and Technical Training Facility will have a vehicle storage compound that will be able to secure up to 1,000 cars, 800 of which will be covered and shielded from the elements. Additionally, a brand new pre-delivery inspection and repair facility for on-site vehicles will also be built within the property. Honda Foundation Inc., the corporate social responsibility arm of Honda Cars Philippines, partnered with Haribon Foundation for the reforestation of the country's rainforest. Honda Foundation continues on with this commitment as they go to Barangay San Andres, Kayumbay, in Tanay, resolve for their tree planting activity. Ford Philippines brought members of the motoring media all the way up north in Papanga and Zambales for a test drive experience aboard the newest Ranger. The group got to experience the new powertrain as well as the new safety features of the Ranger. Legado Motors Inc. was appointed as the exclusive distributor of GAC Motors in the Philippines. Coinciding the launching event, the brand unveiled a wide range of luxury vehicles such as the G84 sedan, GS4 subcompact SUV, G8 executive sedan, GM8 premium 7-seater minivan, and the flagship model GS8 large SUV. Mitsubishi Motors Corporation launched the new Strada Triton L200 one-ton pickup truck globally. Initially launched in Bangkok, Thailand, the company eventually brought it to other ASEAN markets as well as Oceania, the Middle East, Europe, Africa, and Latin America. Lamborghini Manila officially unveiled the Lamborghini Urus in a grand launching event held at the Okada Manila Grand Ballroom. The Lamborghini Urus is the brand's first super sport utility vehicle which bears the Lamborghini DNA. Lamborghini takes pride in its design and performance. The Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival powered by Phoenix Fuels with Pulse Technology yet again rolled out another successful test drive festival at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. This year's edition of the biggest one-stop shop for cars turned out as the most attended in its five-year biannual history. The record-breaking total of 3,473 test drives were registered in its four-day staging. Throughout the event, these thousands of visitors, families, and car enthusiasts Witness the displays of the latest products and innovations from Ford, Honda, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, MG, Mazda, Nissan, Peugeot, Sangyong, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota. For Ford, uh, we started uh, the day very early. So we have uh, several test drives, more especially for the Raptor and the Wild Trucks. So basically for this event, uh, we have the two, two pickups. Uh, we, we anticipated the people are going to go here to test drive our two pickups and all of our other uh, nameplates. Well, the first day has been excellent so far. Uh, we were surprised that as early as 12 noon, we've had so many customers coming in and they drove some of our best sellers like the BRV, the CRV diesel, our uh, City and Civic and other models that we have here at the Honda booth. 
So far, we have uh, been receiving quite a number of test drives already and we're expecting more in the coming days. We have four test drive units offered to our public. We have the Isuzu MUX LS Automatic. That's our base model for MUX. We also have the MUX LSA. And um, of course, we have our 2D Max LS Automatic. Well, so far it's uh, good. We have already had uh, about 30 test drives since this morning. We're looking forward also to having more test drives go coming towards the weekend. Actually, here at the Autofocus Test Drive Festival, what we are highlighting is the 2019 Mazda collection. So we're highlighting here is the newly introduced Mazda CX-9 Signature Edition, which we just launched last month. And plus, we're also showcasing here three nameplates that we have very good promotions for people who'd like to give themselves a little Christmas gift. You know? So we actually have a very good promo on the Mazda 3, the CX-5, and the BT-50. Uh, so far for today, marami naman nag-test drive. Uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, customers test drive the Expander and the Montero Sport as well as the Strada and Mirage G4. Uh, pero considering it's a Thursday, it's a weekday, medyo mababa pa naman. Pero I think in the coming days, dadami naman siya. Uh, MG is a brand that's British bred. It started in 1924 in the UK. Now it's a truly global brand uh, with headquarters operating out of the UK and in Shanghai. We've had a lot of walk-ins, we've had a lot of test drives. Um, this is a really good event for us to be at, especially since we're still establishing our dealer network. This is a venue where all of our customers and clients can really come in and try the, the vehicles for themselves. Um, today it's, uh, we have clear weather, so um, we've seen a lot of people come here during their lunch breaks especially those who are working around the area. So that's great for us. So we can, at least we're here early. We get to um, have more people test drive our cars uh, earlier as well. So we have three uh, models. Um, these are our newest breed of lions. We have the 3008 SUV, our compact SUV. We also have our 5008 SUV, which is our seven-seater SUV. And lastly, we have our Peugeot Traveler MPV, seven-seater MPV as well. So far, we've been getting um, a few test drives, so siguro kasi mainit pa. But we're having a lot of test drives, especially for our newly launched uh, Muso. It's the luxury utility vehicle, so it's the first time we're having it for a test drive event. It's a luxury utility pickup, so I think a lot of our clients are visiting the booth just to test the car. We have on display the new Tivoli Premium Sport, the XLV Diesel, the Road Use 9-seater, and also the Muso pickup. Aside from that, all of those are going to be available for test drive. Well, uh, it's a very uh, glorious first day for us. You know, uh, we've been joining the Test Drive Festival of STV for the past two years. And there's a reason why we're always here. So we love that uh, people really come in and get to try the cars, enjoy it. Any brand, uh, as long as they get to enjoy driving. We're really promoting our entire lineup right now. So we have seven cars for test drive with different variants of the Forester, the XV, the Outback, the Impreza. We even have our sports cars here, the WRX. So it's open for everyone to try. Actually, uh, the first days, we're doing great. Actually, uh, we're showcasing our new Jimny. And I think uh, still uh, until morning, non-stop test drive of this new Jimny. Right now, we have the all-new Swift. We have the all-new Desire and we have the Vitara and especially the Jimny. Uh, so far we've seen a lot of interest with uh, Toyota Rush and also uh, the Hilux, the Hilux Conquest. Right now we have the, the Vios and also the Fortuner and uh, the, the Innova. And this is once again the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival powered by Phoenix Petroleum and right now we're at the Nissan booth where they have on display the Terra the Navara and the X Trail. So, guys, better check them out. Really awesome cars. But of course, they have a whole lineup of cars that you guys might know or are interested in. We have the Terra, the Navara, the X Trail, the Irvan, and the Juke. And of course, they are offering all of them with low down payments. Auto Nation Group officially launched the new A Class. It comes with the Mercedes Benz user experience or the MBUX, which elevates the connection between car and driver to a personal level. The design of the new A-Class is also one that makes the car stand out.
Mitsubishi Motors Philippines brought members of the motoring media to Bataan to showcase the performance and capabilities of the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. The two-day event featured the all-new Expander through a 175km drive experience starting at Mitsubishi Balintawak all the way to Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar in Bataan, where the group stayed and had a taste of the place's offerings. Lexus unveiled its first-ever compact crossover, the all-new UX. According to the company, the new model offers the brand's luxury appeal and safety with its new design elements and new powertrain. Lalamove, an on-demand delivery service, celebrated its second anniversary in the Philippines. Aside from its anniversary, it also celebrated having to complete hundreds of thousands of deliveries, its partner drivers, business clients, and users. Bentley Manila opened a new Bentley Manila showroom located in Bonifacio Global City. The new inaugurated showroom features a three-car display area, showcasing the latest Bentley models, including the Mulsanne, the Bentega, the most luxurious and most exclusive SUV in the world, and the new Continental GT, Bentley's renowned Grand Tour. The 12th Manila Auto Salon was held back-to-back -back with the 24th Sport Truck Show at the SMX Convention Center in SM Mall of Asia. The major highlight of the event was the competition for six Best of Show title awards, namely Custom Car, Tuner Car and Extreme Custom Car for Manila Auto Salon, and Sport Truck, Sport Utility Vehicle, and Extreme Sport Truck for the Sport Truck Show. Some of the top car companies and manufacturers in the country have celebrated the holiday season by holding Thanksgiving parties attended by their executives, media friends, and special guests. The events were also celebrations of their successes throughout the year. The last few months of the year are usually the busiest and most packed season, even with the local auto industry. One of the major events that happened during this time was the 2018 Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival powered by Phoenix Fuels with Pulse Technology, held at the SM Mall of Asia Grounds. Moreover, it was filled with events and celebrations just like the Thanksgiving parties. We'll just take another short break. I shall be right back. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Expander. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. It's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too. So, why are you back? I didn't want to miss you. your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. You're still with us here on our Autofocus E-RAN special featuring the significant events in the local auto industry in 2018. 
the Covenant Car Company Inc. brought the Chevrolet Corvette to the Chevrolet Motorama at SM Mega Mall Fashion Hall for its first ever Philippine display. The iconic red Corvette Stingray proudly showcased its 65 year legacy of design, performance, and technology at the event. Hyundai Asia Resources kicked off its Runway to the Future celebration where guests witnessed the company's biggest Christmas surprise, the launch of the Grand Starix Urban, Tucson Facelift and Ionic Hybrid, and the all-new Accent. Toyota Motors Philippines Corporation inaugurated its 1MW solar array at its manufacturing assembly plant in Santa Rosa City. That has been the year 2018 for the Philippine automobile industry. It was a mixture of big car launches that thrilled the mass, test drive events that took the motoring media to different parts of the country just to experience firsthand the latest models, celebrations of milestones, and different major events that gathered all car enthusiasts in one place. Just like in the past years, there have been challenges here and there that the car companies and manufacturers have faced individually and also as a whole. But as we end the year, the automobile industry has remained standing even better and stronger than ever. There is no doubt that it will be ushering in 2019 with the same footing. And to you, our dear viewers, we would like to extend our utmost gratitude for sticking with us for the past hour as well as through the years. We would like to close 2018 by saying that we will continue to support and serve the local auto industry by providing the motoring public a continuing flow of information regarding the automobile and its industry. Until the next time here on the country's premier electronic magazine that centers on anything about the automobile. For Autofocus, I'm Butch Gamboa. Happy New Year.